Jackson the running back. Simeon falls down. Holy cow. That was 57 though, Mike. <clears throat> He's been everywhere. He, he absolutely, and look, as flags come down for celebrating, the formation and everything told me that With some Seattle did I that out loud? You did. Sorry. That was for everyone to hear. Jordan Howard looks like he's set. Sudfeld will throw it. Enzo. Batted around. It falls incomplete. Michigan survives. This is incomplete. Delano Hill broke it up intended for Mitchell Page. They're out of timeouts. Obviously, there's one snap barring a defensive penalty or it's over. And they're that close to the goal line. Leidner under center. Full house behind him. He'll try to do it himself. Did he get there? No signal. No touchdown. Michigan has won it. Plays on the goal line are all about leverage. Who gets the ruling low? on the field is that the runner was stopped short of the goal line. That ruling is under further review. I don't think there's any way he got the ball to the end zone. Not in that mass of humanity. Watch the leverage. Watch how low that front gets for Michigan. They get underneath the Minnesota linemen and drive them back. And even though Leidner's 240 pounds, he doesn't get close to getting the ball in the end zone. After review, the ruling on the field stands. The game is over. They've done it 102 times in the past for the Little Brown Jug. Not too many of them any better than this one. And Michigan survives a scare in Minneapolis to go to 6-2 and two and 3-1. And, and there comes the Little Brown Jug that Minnesota has had since last year. And now it's heading to Ann Arbor. Joseph Petrino will kick it away from Maryland. Giles Jackson is back deep for the Wolverines. And we are underway on a perfect college football Saturday in College Park, Maryland. Here is Jackson at the 20. Down the sideline, got a man to beat. There he goes, Giles Jackson on the opening kickoff. I don't see any flags, and it's 97 yards to the house. How do you do? That's how the Wolverines start. Make it six great quarters and one great opening kick return. Just reload. Fresh new talent on the field. Look at this. How about a sack, fumble, score, win. End, and he just beat Martez Ivy to the inside quickly, knocks the ball loose, and Noah Furbush falls on it for the touchdown. Hopkins to throw. Hopkins stepped up, sack, lost. Michigan has a football. Two different series now. They end up trying to throw the ball. One ended in an interception down, trying to go in for a score. This one, Kelvin Hopkins gets stripped. Uche was there. Quiddy Pay was there. And Quiddy Pay strips it and dives on the football for the recovery. 
and the Wolverines escape. Oh. Right now, and potentially put a series together to put some points on the board. First down and 10 of the 21 for Michigan. Patterson. Widening up. He's got a receiver. Peoples Jones down the sideline. Peoples Jones. Touchdown, Wolverine. 79 yards. What I tell you earlier, give these guys a chance. I believe the best players on this offense are standing at the wide receiver position with Nico Collins and Don. Down the middle of the field. Intercepted. Jordan Lewis with your exclamation point. And very likely the dagger. You got George rushing out there on Jordan Lewis. And Lewis has made play after play in this game. We saw him in the running game. And if this isn't a Sports Center top 10 play, Fourth down, six to go. He just scrambled for a first down in the same situation. He's got the snap. Four-man rush. Miller looks. He fires. It's tipped in the air and intercepted by Courtney Avery out of Mansfield, Ohio. And the Wolverines will end 2,926 days of frustration by beating Ohio State here in the big house, 40 to 34. Second and 10. Steps away from the pressure, fires down to wide open Gallon. They left him alone. Needs a block. Now he's in a foot race. Out of bounds at the 15, and there's eight seconds to go. Well, we just saw the Michigan defense make some mistakes, and this time, even though they're in that Hail Mary formation, Brent, you said it, they just lost Gallon. Didn't even pay attention to him. They were locked into the middle of the field, thinking he may just throw it up to Hemingway, but he does a good job of improvising. Starts Smith in motion. He's going to throw for it. He's got to throw it to the end zone. Lobs it up. One-on-one. -on -one. Cut. Michigan. Touchdown. I can't believe this. Roy Roundtree. There's a penalty flag thrown at the two-yard line. Touchdown is the call on the field with two seconds remaining. It counts. Once again, one on one to the outside. Round tree is locked up. And, you know, we have seen this time and time again with Gary Gray down in the end zone, getting lost in coverage. He was pushing back and forth with Roundtree. An amazing call by Al Borges to show the confidence and to take this chance here. I thought they would just position it for the, the game-tying field goal to get it into overtime. Instead, they take a chance and put it up there. Look at Gray. Head is turned. Doesn't know where the football is. Roundtree has possession. It looked like it came loose there at the end, but I thought he had the, I thought he had the football right there, it looks like he has a foot down, and it looks like that should be a touchdown. 